a children's book about being destructive by Joy Berry. Help Me Be Good series. A children's book about being destructive by Joy Berry. This book is about Lenny. Reading about Lenny can help you understand and deal with being destructive. Goop. Cat thinks, I hope he doesn't want to play with me. Lenny plays with his cars. Crash, crash, crash! You are being destructive when you break something, ruin something, or make a mess. Lenny's sister walks in the room and says, What are you doing with my things? Lenny playing with the tape recorder. Rip! You are being destructive when you break something. If you break other people's things, try to fix them. If you cannot fix them yourself, ask for help. Lenny's sister says, Ugh, you broke this. Now you have to fix it. Cat thinks, I think he's going to need help. You are being destructive when you ruin something. If you ruin other people's things, try to replace them. Dad says, I'm sorry, but this tape recorder is ruined. Boop, Lenny says. Cat thinks, that's what I thought. You are being destructive when you make a mess. If you make a mess, clean it up. Lenny's sister says, you ruined my tape recorder and you made a mess of my room. Lenny says, huh? Cat thinks, uh-oh, we're in a mess. Wanting to know what something is and how it works might cause you to be destructive. You might handle something to learn more about it. You might ruin it if you do not know how to handle it in the right way. Avoid being destructive. Do this instead. Talk to someone. Find out what things are and how they work before you handle them. Lenny thinks, I still don't know what makes this thing work. Having an accident might cause you to be destructive. Avoid being destructive. Do these things instead. Pay attention to what you are doing. Handle things carefully. Move cautiously and slowly when you are around things that can be broken easily. Lenny slips and says, Oops! Cat thinks, Did you ever have the feeling that something was going to happen to you? As the water splashes on him. Not caring about something might cause you to be destructive. Avoid being destructive. Do these things instead. Try to understand that things around you are important. Try to take care of them. Lenny thinks, while playing with his ball inside the house, I don't care if this gets broken. It's not very important as he hits the plate. Plink! Cat thinks, this isn't going to be my day. Being angry or frustrated might cause you to be destructive. You might abuse things when you are angry or frustrated. Avoid being destructive. Do this instead. Calm down before you handle anything that could be broken or ruined. Cat thinks, Lenny, you look frustrated. Lenny frustratingly kicks the trash can. Thunk! Avoid being destructive. Do this instead. Stay out of places you have been told to stay out of. There might be things in those places that could be broken or ruined. Mom says, Please do not play in the living room. There are too many things in there that could get broken. Avoid being destructive. Do this instead. Do not touch things that you are not supposed to touch. They might be things that could get, be broken or ruined. Mom says, you may look at this, but please do not touch it. It might get broken. Cat thinks, oh no.
You might need to be punished if you disobey and are destructive. The punishment should help you learn that you must obey when you are asked to leave something alone. Mom says, You disobeyed me and broke this. Now you will need to be punished. Boop, says Lenny, as he puts back the broken figurine. Tink, tink. You might need to be punished if you are destructive because you do not care. The punishment should help you learn that you need to care about the things around you. Dad says, you have not been careful. You have broken many of your toys. There will be no more toys until you learn to care about your things. Lenny sighs. Oh. Cat thinks, and that goes for your pets too. You might need to be punished if you choose to be destructive. The punishment should help you learn that you should not be destructive on purpose. Mom says, you did this, so you have to scrub it off. I'm taking your crayons away from you for one week. Cat thinks, uh-oh. Being destructive hurts yourself and the people around you. This is why you should not be destructive. Lenny sighs. Oh, as he scrubs the wall. Cat thinks, it's no fun being destructive. The end. A note to parents about being destructive. But it was an accident. This is the excuse most children provide for being destructive. However, most destruction is not accidental. In addition, there are very few no-fault accidents. Being destructive is usually a result of willful intent or careless, disrespectful behavior. In both cases, the negative feelings and attitudes that leave one to destroy something are often as bad as the destruction itself. Helping your child avoid destructive attitudes and behavior begins with teaching him or her to be respectful. If a toddler were placed among a collection of everyday toys and priceless antiques, he or she would no doubt treat the toys and antiques equally. This is because young children know nothing about antiques and therefore have no respect for them. Teaching your child to be respectful begins with helping him or her understand the purpose, and thus the importance of every person, place, and object that surrounds him or her. Discussing this book and with your child will help him or her become a less destructive and more respectful individual. Thank you.